Hey everybody, it's Alex over at Laser Everything. That's right, rebrand. I didn't like using the shop name as the channel name. I wanted to keep them a little more separate. So um, we changed our name to Laser Everything. And I think it's a really good fit because that's exactly what we do here. And leaning right into that, today I'm gonna be showing you, wait for it, how to engrave aluminum black mark with a fiber laser. That's right, it can be done, and I'm gonna show you how to do it today. Uh, it's not that difficult, and uh, you don't need anything special. You don't need a Mopaw, you don't need uh, advanced uh, frequency ranges. All you need is a fiber laser that can do 25 to 50 kilohertz, and a little Brilliance Laser Inks. That's right, Brilliance Laser Inks is going to be used in today's video. It's really, really good at what it does, and I'm gonna show you guys why. So we're gonna throw a aluminum plate right onto the fiber right now, and I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. Uh, this is gonna blow your mind. This is really, really cool, and uh, I can't wait to show you. So let's jump right into it. So as usual with Brilliance guys, our journey is going to start here at the sink. Um, we're just going to keep our can 6 to 12 inches away from the piece. Um, we're going to give it a quick even spray. So I'm going to go ahead and knock that out right now. And that's it. We're done. We don't need any more than that. Uh, and we do need this to be completely dry before we put it under the fiber laser. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you. Uh, right now we got that gloss on there and we want that to uh, go away before we put this under the machine. And the plate's been sitting here for about three to four minutes. Uh, you'll need slightly longer for a bigger plate, but we are going to just double check our focus with a similar plate. We can't touch this one because it's got the uh, brilliance on it now, but we can check on this one. So we'll just grab our focal stick and we'll just barely touching as usual. Uh, that looks perfect and we can get this out of the way and we'll start up our fiber laser here and get that centered up real quick. So I did just wanna point out um, that you'll notice my plate changes a couple times during this video and that's because I actually had a little bit of a hard time getting it to mark. So um, I changed my focus. So now when I focus, we are actually hovering just above the plate and you can see, I mean, just above, but that little bit of difference uh, out of my normal focus, instead of having it just barely touch the plate made a difference. Um, made the difference because that's how we got the uh, the, the good shots for this video. So um, that is about where you want your focus to be. A little bit, just a touch higher than, um, you know, perfect. Uh, should be good um, for this project. So just wanted to point that out to you um, so that if you're struggling to get this to work, uh, try that because that may solve the, uh, the issue for you. And here's our three by one square. It's a 76 by 26 millimeters. And we'll just go ahead and line that up super fast. And uh, that looks good for today's purposes. And now we will cut over to EasyCAD and take a look at our settings. Hey guys, so uh, we're all centered up and uh, focused. And I just wanted to cover some of our settings real quick. So in the hatch settings, uh, note we have hatch two disabled. Okay, we usually do opposing 45s, but not today. Uh, so we're just doing hatch one, uh, standard hatch pattern with an angle of zero degrees, so it comes straight across, okay? Uh, and a standard line distance of 0 0.025, uh, give or take, all right? So that'll do really great for this black mark. Uh, then we'll come over here. So this parameter is aluminum brilliance black, and uh, we're looking at a speed of 110, about 33% power on my 30 watt machine and uh, 50 kilohertz frequency. I developed this setting specifically for 50 kilohertz because everybody seems to have it. So um, I wanted everybody to be able to do this mark. Uh, Brilliance says that you can get better results with the two to 500 frequency range, uh, but I didn't have very good luck with it and 50 seemed to work out uh, you know, really well. So um, lucky for us, I guess. Uh, so there's a frequency of 50 on that. So um, all we have to do is just uh, head over to the machine and, and get this thing going. All right, guys, and with that done, uh, all that's left to do is hit F2 because we are focused and centered and ready to go. All 
All right, guys, so we got a great mark there and we're gonna head over and just give this a quick rinse in the sink. And there we go. That is black on aluminum. Uh, as usual, I will just show you that um, the Brilliance Laser Inks is permanent. It is a permanent mark. So we can take this and scrub it really, really hard with the scotch Bright pad, as hard as you want. You go at it all day. Uh, your mark is still going to be there. If your mark comes off after a scrubbing like this, um, you have to change your settings because uh, that's a settings problem, not a Brilliance Laser Ink problem. Uh, that is a solid mark right there. So we'll just give this one last rinse and then we'll uh, head over and take a couple nice photos. And here it is, guys, the uh, the final black mark on aluminum there. That is, uh, that's killer, especially compared to what you usually get from aluminum. So here's the black mark compared to our normal uh, aluminum engraving. And you can see the aluminum engraving, that's about as white as engravings get. Uh, right there, that's Snow White, and this is with the Brilliance Laser Inks. Uh, so that really does let you get a black mark on aluminum. Um, that's just like crazy value, because um, everybody wants that, and uh, it seems to be impossible to get with the fiber by itself. You can get really, really dark gray, but you can't get black, so uh, that is just freaking cool. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, if you want to pick up some Brilliance Laser Inks so that you can try this on your fiber laser, there is a link in the description with a discount code for 10% off your first purchase. So uh, definitely check that out. This stuff is so much cheaper than Ceramark or Thermomark and, and all the other competitors. Uh, seriously, almost half price. Also, please don't forget to check out the Discord. It is exploding. There are tons of new members. Everybody's sharing projects and stories. Uh, it's really, really kind of blossoming into something that uh, I can see a lot of potential for in the future. So if you want to be part of that growth, check out the Discord, link in the description, as well as the kit.co link, which shows you everything that we use in the shop. There's affiliate links to everything, so it's an easy way to help out the channel. You get some cool gear uh, and you throw a couple bucks my way without really having to do anything except for shop. So um, that is awesome as well. If there's a video you want to see, leave a comment underneath the video and uh, let me know. Let me know what you guys want me to make because uh, I want to I wanna help you. So um, I'm happy to make just about any video. Uh, so leave me your suggestions uh, in the comment area. Uh, you can hit up the Patreon if you want to uh, for a couple bucks a month. Um, if you'd rather support me directly as opposed to the other ways, that's also welcome. Um, but I have plenty more work to do at the shop today and new videos to make. So I'm going to go get started on some of that and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.